Have you ever come across a movie that not only entertained you, but also left a lasting impression? The Young Savages, a 1961 film, may just be one of those cinematic gems. Directed by John Frankenheimer, this compelling drama raises questions about justice, society, and the human condition. As you delve into this thought-provoking story, you might find yourself pondering the complexities of life and morality. But before we explore the film's intriguing elements, we'd love to hear from you. Do you have a cherished memory associated with this movie? Can you share a personal story of how this movie has inspired or impacted your life? We invite you to share your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this movie in the comments below. Your stories and memories are invaluable. Now, let's delve into some intriguing facts about The Young Savages and its impact. In the 1961 movie The Young Savages, Burt Lancaster, who played the role of a prosecutor, engaged in a notable cross-examination of the victim's sister. During this scene, he goes to great lengths to expose her as a prostitute. He claims he is doing this to get to the truth, but this subject is never brought up again in the film. This moment in the movie showcases the intensity and determination of the character Lancaster portrayed. It's a significant scene that adds depth to the film's narrative. This fact serves as a solid starting point for discussing the young savages and the dynamics within the film. Lancaster's performance and the choices his character makes during the scene are a pivotal aspect of the storyline. The film delves into issues of youth gang violence, racial tensions, and the pursuit of justice, making it a compelling watch from 1961. Burt Lancaster's role in the 1961 movie The Young Savages marked a significant turn in his career. United Artists had compelled him to make the film, along with three others, for a fraction of his usual fee due to cost overruns at his production company, Hecht Hill Lancaster. This financial pressure didn't deter Lancaster's commitment to the project. When he first walked onto the set, he was surprised by the innovative camera angles used by director John Frankenheimer. The collaboration between Lancaster and Frankenheimer eventually led to a successful partnership spanning four more films. This behind-the-scenes story sheds light on the challenges and creative dynamics that shaped the young savages and showcases Burt Lancaster's dedication to his craft. The film The Young Savages from 1961 boasts a noteworthy cast, including two Oscar winners, Burt Lancaster and Shelley Winters, along with one Oscar nominee, Telly Savalas. These seasoned actors brought their talents to the forefront, contributing to the movie's overall impact. Shelley Winters, in particular, stepped into her role as a replacement for Lee Grant, who had filmed a key scene before departing. This substitution added an interesting layer to the film's production. Telly Savalas, known for his role as a police lieutenant in this 1961 drama, continued his law enforcement portrayals, playing another police lieutenant in Mad Dog Call the same year. Twelve years later, he became iconic as Theo Kojak in the series Kojak. These roles showcased Savalas' versatility and enduring presence in the law enforcement genre. The star-studded cast and the backstage drama of cast changes offer intriguing insights into the making of The Young Savages. These elements, along with the film's gripping narrative, contribute to its enduring appeal in the world of cinema. The 1961 movie The Young Savages holds an interesting connection to another iconic film of the same year. It shares the year of release with West Side Story, a movie that also delves into the rivalry between a Puerto Rican gang and a white gang in New York City. While The Young Savages explores youth gang violence, racial tensions, and the pursuit of justice, West Side Story approaches similar themes through the lens of a musical drama. These two films, released in the same year, provide contrasting yet complementary perspectives on the complex social dynamics of 1960s New York City. The Young Savages offers a gritty and realistic portrayal, while West Side Story uses music and dance to convey its message. The juxtaposition of these two films from 1961 allows for a deeper understanding of the era's cinematic exploration of urban conflicts and the human condition in a diverse city. Telly Savala's missing upper digit on his first finger on his left hand is clearly visible in a number of scenes in the 1961 movie The Young Savages. This unique detail in his appearance adds an interesting layer to his character's portrayal. It's a small but distinctive aspect that keen-eyed viewers may notice while watching the film. 
This physical trait, though subtle, can be a fascinating point of discussion when exploring the nuances of the movie. It's one of the many details that contribute to the film's overall character and authenticity. The Young Savages, directed by John Frankenheimer, is a compelling 1961 drama that delves into youth gang violence, racial tensions, and the pursuit of justice in New York City. It's a film filled with intriguing elements, both large and small, that make it a noteworthy piece of cinematic history. Chasing Shadows, the tragic downfall of the young savage as cast member on the dark side of Hollywood stardom in the world of 1961 movie The Young Savages. Fame often had a darker side. One cast member, whose name we know but shall not repeat, found themselves chasing shadows amidst the glitz and glamour of Hollywood stardom. Amid the bright lights of the movie industry, this actor's life took a tragic turn. The weight of fame bore down heavily, leading them into the abyss of depression. Despite their success in The Young Savages, the emotional challenges they faced in maintaining authentic connections became increasingly daunting. The allure of stardom, the pressures of the spotlight, and the constant scrutiny took a toll on this cast member's mental health. The journey from adoration to isolation was a painful one, and the shadows they chased eventually consumed them. Their story serves as a stark reminder that fame, while alluring, can cast dark shadows on the lives of those who seek it. The legacy of this cast member's struggles in the wake of the young savages is a sobering chapter in the history of Hollywood. In this article, we delve into the tragic downfall of this cast member, exploring the emotional battles they faced in the pursuit of fame and the shadowy side of Hollywood stardom. The Price of Fame examine the psychological toll that fame and constant public scrutiny take on Hollywood stars. The world of Hollywood can be a double-edged sword, where fame and fortune come hand in hand with intense public scrutiny and unrelenting pressure. For the cast member of the 1961 movie The Young Savages, the glitz and glamour of stardom brought both adoration and adversity. In the midst of success, they found themselves grappling with the heavy burden of fame and its profound impact on their mental health. The relentless expectations of perfection and the constant visibility in Hollywood can take a toll on even the most resilient individuals. The cast member of The Young Savages was no exception. As their star rose, the pressure to maintain a flawless image and meet the ever-growing demands of the industry grew exponentially. The pursuit of fame often led to the sacrifice of personal well-being. The cast member faced a daunting journey from adoration to isolation as the shadow of fame gradually consumed them. The Hollywood spotlight, while alluring, cast dark shadows on their life. Their story serves as a stark reminder of the psychological price that fame extracts from those who seek it in the world of entertainment. The legacy of their struggles within the harsh and unforgiving spotlight is a somber chapter in the history of Hollywood. In this article, we delve into the tragic and often overlooked aspect of fame exploring the mental health challenges faced by the cast member of The Young Savages and shedding light on the price of fame in the entertainment industry. It's a compelling narrative that raises essential questions about the cost of stardom in Hollywood. As we bid adieu to this cinematic journey, I invite you to pause and reflect on the profound impact that the 1961 movie The Young Savages has had on your own life. This gripping tale of justice, prejudice, and youth resonates with many on a deeply personal level. Perhaps it reminded you of the importance of understanding, empathy, and the complexities of human nature. Or maybe it transported you back in time, triggering memories of a bygone era that still hold relevance today. Now is the perfect moment to share your cherished memories and thoughts about this remarkable film. Whether it's the powerful performances of the cast, the thought-provoking themes, or the unforgettable scenes, your perspective is a valuable addition to the tapestry of the young savage's appreciation. By sharing your thoughts, you not only connect with others who have been touched by this cinematic gem, but also contribute to the ongoing discussion of its significance. Thank you for investing your time and interest in this iconic film and for sharing your insights. Your unique perspective enriches our understanding of the young savages and makes this journey through cinematic history all the more meaningful. Remember, it's your voice that keeps these classics alive in our hearts and minds. In parting, let me express my gratitude for your presence in this conversation. Your contributions are truly appreciated, and I look forward to reading your thoughts about the young savages. Until we meet again, keep exploring the world of cinema, and keep the magic of storytelling alive.
Thank you for your time and interest. With appreciation, 